Hi, this is Dr. Susan Tran, and this is my husband. I'm Dr. Glenn Bow. And we have a practice in Denton, Denton Smiles Dentistry, and we've had this practice for 10 years now. So um, we started getting uh, going through the process of talking to MB2, and what motivated us was that we wanted to take our practice to the next level. Uh, we've been, uh, we had our practice for 10 years, new decade coming on, and we started exploring different opportunities. And what made us um, kind of veer towards MB2 is that they want all their doctors to retain some autonomy. And, uh, and they, but they also wanted to give the support. And that's what we were looking for. We we're looking for the support so that we can grow our practice, so that we can focus more on the patients and the patient care, and also focus on being leaders with our team. And so we were really excited about that. Yeah, um, yeah so par for me, part of it is um, being able to, we've been you know, business owners for 10 years and I'm ready to just kind of slow down on that part and I was ready to give that to somebody else. Um, so MB2 was able to take a lot, lot off of my plate as far as, um, you know, like posting payments and things like that. Um, they're gonna help with HR, finding staff. Um, so all the stuff that um, doesn't get people really excited, you know, so we were excited about doing that, but but also just the opportunity, the opportunity to work with other doctors and be part of a, of a, a special culture. That was what we uh, what really appealed to us. So the integration process, I, th I thought that was pretty seamless. Um, what we liked is the fact that um, Maria was kind of on top of everything. She, she had calls with us, she just kept us in the loop. But it wasn't only her, it was just, it seemed like the entire B2 family kind of came together and made sure everything was okay. Uh, from from Maria to to Will to Dr. V and some of the founders would also, also check in with us. So that, that, really, that really made us feel comfortable and at home uh, because this is a new process for us. It was kind of overwhelming, um, but it, MB2, broke it up to bite size, right? And so it's something really big. Um, but I, I thought it was pretty seamless. My biggest advice is to ask as many questions as possible. And I can already predict everyone's initial question is, well, are they gonna tell me what I can and cannot do? That's every doctor's fear, right? That you open your own practice, you've been doing it a certain way, and someone's gonna come in and say, I'm sorry, you can't wear that lab coat anymore, or something like that, right? Um, I'll just answer it right now. No, that's not the case. So uh, get all your, your the questions that you're fearful about and ask them. They're totally transparent uh, from the founders to any of the team members. Um, there's gonna be multiple opportunities to ask questions. And then of course, when you come out to the discovery day, my biggest advice is make sure you bring your spouse. That's so important. This is such an important uh, decision. Uh, it's not a type of decision that you want to make on, by yourself. You want to make it as a family. So that is my biggest advice. I think that if you are looking for an exit strategy, um, I think this is one of the better ones um, because they allow you to invest into the company, which um, is one of the reasons why I partnered with MB2. Um, it's going to get us there a little bit quicker to retirement. So I think I'm gonna have you start first on this. What I like to do in my spare time, um, I like to work out, I get my massages, which I love, I do it every two weeks. Um, we like to take our kids to their sporting events. Um, my daughter is into swimming and she does that three times a week now. And so it's great that I have more time, you know, to take her to these things. Um, and I'm not at home worrying about the office as much because um, a lot of that stuff is going to be taken off my plate. Um, and then as far as me, I mean, I, I have a, a few things I like to do. Um, you know, uh, some of you guys might know Nifty Thrifty Dentist, the Facebook group, podcast. Um, I also like to write too. Um, actually, releasing a book. Two weeks, right? Is it two weeks? Yeah, I think two weeks. Two weeks to be on Kindle. It'll be in the bookstores this summer. Uh, 2612 Cherry Hill Lane. Go like the Facebook page, please. Okay, I got like 12,000 followers right now, but that's gonna come out. And so uh, I'm excited about having a little bit more time to uh, do all the PR stuff that the publisher wants me to do. Um, and really, I just like to try to connect with more people in dentistry and hopefully 
uh, through MB2, I'll meet some more doctors, but also have some time freed up so I can uh, do more networking.